What is going on, fam? Hope you having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it's time to watching this video. Today we're at Cameron's house, aka Everything Diesel. Huge shout out to him. His channel will be linked down in the description. And you guys know exactly what we're doing today. We are doing the lift pump. What's up, fam? What's up? What's up with it? Yeah, we're gonna install the bracket first and have everything laid out right now, getting ready for the installation. And here's the beans diesel sump right here. And uh, yeah, hopefully everything goes smoothly. So uh, I'm gonna walk you step by step how to set this up. Right now we're gonna have the bracket right here. You're gonna wanna mount it to the pump itself. Alright, so we got all the tools laid out right now, um, and these tools right here I picked up from the Home Depot yesterday as you saw in the fuel plug video. Uh, you don't really need this that much, but I got a half inch fuel plug and two hose clamps, and then these are the fire fuel on fittings that come with the Air Dogs lift kit or lift pump kit. And uh, this is only in case you have a sump. So since we're installing the sump, you're definitely going to have to plug the factory return line on top of the fuel tank. And uh, once we get there, I'll show you exactly where this goes. Right now, camera's just buttoning up all the fittings for the fuel lines and whatnot. And about to mount the bracket on here. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, the mount, this is going to be a, a 716th, right? Yeah, it'll be a 716 nut. Four 716th nuts, and then the Allen keys that go right here on each corner of the pump itself. Uh-huh. Just getting the baby snugged up. All right, next step, we're going to grab these two frame mounting brackets right here, and it's going to be the three long uh, bolts right there. And then we're going to take our spacer, see if it has any brake lines that need to be uh, brought the way. And we're just going to see where we want to mount it real quick. Right, so right now we have it uh, where we want it on the frame. And the bottom, or the one piece to the mounting bracket is down there. And we're just mounting the pump to the other one. And uh, totally up to you if you want your pump showing or not. Uh, I'm going to have mine showing because uh, I should definitely rep the Air Dog brand. Represent? Yes, sir. But uh, if you're like, you know, like everyone said, an older person, don't want it showing, a lot of people do uh, rather put it on the inside of the frame rail. And I'm pretty sure that's how the instructions come as well. But if you do read the instructions and this has the front of the truck and it's facing the rear, all you got to do is just obviously reverse order that process and then play it by ear. Uh, it's not really hard to do. Do me a favor, slide. Uh, can you slide that bracket up? To the right? Yeah, because yeah. your rock light is going to be hitting you close to your rock light. <coughs> yeah. You slide up a little bit. Yeah, right there. Perfect. All right. Okay. Now go ahead and. Uh... All right, got the three mountain bracket bolts on. Just got to tighten them up. The top two are in a little funky position, but you should be able to get them pretty easily. Be all right. You're not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Start running some fuel lines, baby. Mm -hmm. Now we took the filters off so we could mount the bracket uh, easier. So when you're when you have the filters on, see these little nuts right here. It's gonna be kind of hard to do that. So uh, camera was telling me really easy to mount it without the filters on there. So future reference, if you're watching this video and installing one. Go ahead and take the filters off before you do the bracket. Yes, sir. That's how you know you're rich. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, boys and girls. So what we're on now is the uh, engine supply line to the pump. And you're just gonna get your quick fuel line disconnect kit. Uh, this is a half inch. And you're just gonna wanna put it on there. And then once you hit the click, you're gonna pull it back. And I unbolted the fuel cooler. Uh, it's gonna be three bolts. It's gonna be one right here, one right here. And then on the top, and then there's an also, also a bracket right here, and uh, it mounts to the frame. So you just take those four bolts off, drop the fuel cooler, and uh, you're going to have a lot more room to work with. Because if not, you're going to have like two inches. So, yeah. If you can, get some PV blaster and soak these overnight or something. Because what it's tending to do is um, the lines are really hard and gunked up, I'm sure, is your... If your truck's been driven over a couple hundred thousand miles, uh, it's definitely going to have some debris lodged in there. So uh, we sprayed some WD-40, that worked fine, and it broke everything loose. But definitely soak everything with PV Blaster before you start. But yeah, I got that line off. I'm about to put the supply line from that uh, tank to the air dog, and um, yeah, I'm about to use the supplied fittings for that. So let's go. All righty, I'm about to set up the beans diesel sump. Very high quality, made in America. About to set it all up real quick, get the fittings in here. I'm pretty sure the small one is for supply or uh, return, and then this one is for supply. So uh, if you're doing this with a uh, lift pump, you're not gonna have to cut your filler neck because you're just gonna run your supply line straight from this uh, sump to the air dog. Now, if you, only if you have the one with the supply and return built in. Uh, like I said, this one has the both of them built in. Uh, some only have one, and it's just going to be the supply. Um, but if you get this one, uh, use my code. It's ham ten to save yourself ten percent off of Beans Diesel parts. Um, and yeah, let's get to it. We're going to install this right now. I'm going to set it all up. Also, I forgot to mention. Now, this does come with a plug. If you don't have yourself a built-in supply, um, that comes with a plug. So that's also good. You can double it up as either the supply and that one. All right, so right now I'm just putting the ones in that have the half inch, uh, they're equivalent for the half inch hose. Now I'm about to go under the truck and drill the hole. Yeah, it also supplies you with a three inch uh, hole saw drill bit. So that's pretty awesome. It's really cool. <laughs> Alright, camera says tired of waiting, boys. There's <laughs> only one way. God bless America. Get some shit all in here. Get some sand tape on the Oh, almost there? Mm -hmm. Not damn, bro. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious? Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, to America. Wow. Well, Probably, uh... I'll tell you what, though. For $10. Oh, my key. $10. That's what you can get. Right. Ah! You need the tank. Holy fuck. Yeah, you, you don't need it. Alright, we're gonna clean off the surface real quick. Got a microfiber. I can get some sandpaper clean off the surface. Sand the actual hole, the end of the end of the hole. You just want to make sure it has a nice, flat, clean surface to sit up, press up against. The inside's already good. And then just take your finger and just kind of pull off a couple of those little burrs, and you'll be good. All right, install this. You're going to put it right here on the rim. Put it on the rim right here. There you go. 
Don't lose this bitch in the tank, y'all. <laughs> easy, easy day, just like that. And let it sit down right there. Put Once you get it going, just pull down on it so that way it stays seated and it'll continue to lift it up. Alright, look at that. Easy fucking day. Now the torque for this is like, I think 35 foot pounds or something, but pretty much is hand tight. Get it nice and snug. <laughs> Alright, but essentially you're just gonna wanna hold it down like he said, and that way it pulls it down here with it. And then uh, we're gonna have the suction going this way. That way everybody if they see this, you can see the beans diesel right here on the side. The thing with this uh, beans diesel sump kit is it comes with these quick connect plugs. So that way when you're plugging up your factory uh, supply line on top, you don't need to uh, buy any plugs or anything from the hardware store like I did yesterday. I didn't even know they came with this. I should've looked. But it should just be simple as. But shit, this thing would have been left in here by now. Alrighty, and see that plug is all nice and out. snug, so that's really awesome. Alright, so we started heating up the hose a little bit and put a little bit more oil on there. These things are freaking tight. Mm hmm. God. That's pretty good. Now we're about to put the, uh, basically what we're doing now is making the return. Mm -hmm. So there, it's going to be from the left side, which is the smaller hole of the sump. And then we're going to put this 90 on here and it's going to go to the left side of the air dog. Always put some oil, some oil on it. Oil. Oh, so much nicer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Just winning. Like there. a glove. Alright, so like I said, this is going to be the return. So it's going to be the left side of the. Um, put it on this side first. Alright, so it's going to be the left side for this. Alright, we'll route it over. Ooh, like a glove. All right, that's gonna be the left side of this one as well. Oh, dude, see. All right, now we're measuring the one from the sump, which is gonna be the supply to the fuel in outlet on the air dog. Ocean man, take me by the hand. Okay, dokey sump line is installed and it's running down over there, all the way to the sump supply is right there on the right side. Now we're about to get the uh, the one that goes to the engine to the air dog right now and that's going to be the one that we took the uh, fitting off for right on, right on top of the trans or fucking fuel cooler right there. So we're going to make that one right now. Alright see that fitting right there boys and girls right there that's the one we just supplied or we connected to right there and then we're going to route it right over the frame and that's the stock one or to the engine itself. Ow, hit my head. It'll go right there, and then we can bleed the filters, bolt up the fuel cooler, and fill it up. All right, the last one going in now. Boom. All right, we got the cooler all bolted up now. I'm just going to use this one bolt, and I just use the bottom left one because that's the one that usually fits best, and uh, because also these fuel lines right here are kind of getting in the way. But uh, you shake on it, it's not going anywhere anymore, so it really don't matter. But, uh, I'm just letting you know, that's what I did. If you do plan on following these steps in the video and dropping this cooler, and then you run the sump as well, uh, these fuel lines are most likely going to get in the way unless you go all the way to the left and around. But, uh, from the way we did it, we got to do it like this. Alright, so now to the wiring harness. Alright, so you run your power all the way down the frame rail, come out to the driver's side fender wheel. And then, all right, and then we just installed the relay right there on that little grommet type thingy, <laughs> where the stud is. And then uh, next is installing the battery terminal leads and using the fuse tap. I think we're going to use the ignition one fuse tap, so that'll be 
this 10 amp right here if you have a 2006 to 7 or 2003 to 7 classic body GM it would be this one right here on this fuse box not sure if it's a fuse tap when you pull the fuse out you're just gonna replace it with the one that they give you all right and we're gonna pull the slack down through the inner bay and then uh, we're gonna zip tie everything after we get the positive and negative terminals on all right we're about to put this fuel in the fuel jug and we got the ground going to where the rock like ground is so the factory ground right there with the hood on the engine wall is fuse tap in put the power wire in this power box running from the battery right there um we're gonna wait and see if everything works real quick first before we start zip tying everything and uh probably putting some fuel in the old girl That's good. Yep, put a bucket on me. Alright. Are you trying to start it though? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, tighten it up. Reap key, reap key. Reap key? Ah. Just fine. Tighten it up. It's gonna keep priming. It's gonna take a second. If you use rags around, you can dry it up. Filter off from the thing, let the fuel prime through here, and then uh, let it prime up some more. All right, we're gonna try and give it a first test start. First test drive. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, Hanfan, we just got back from the test drive. Went and got some food real quick. But uh looking looking at it now, just looking over everything, no leaks, so that is always a plus. Uh huge shout out to air dog and beans diesel performance for hopping on the build and sponsoring this uh this is awesome i love it thank you guys so much and uh like i said if you want to use my code it's ham 10 for 10 percent off beans diesel definitely do that it'll be in the link down below i'll link the website down below i'll link camera's channel below huge shout out to him for helping me it's the man with the planet there we're about to put his uh, sway bar and whatnot help him out you gotta give back to him you know what i'm saying but looks awesome i like the placement of it right there on the back door uh not too incognito, you know, you gotta you got rep what you run, you know? So, uh, anyways, if you guys did learn something in this video, please drop a like and subscribe, it really means a lot. And until next time, man, fan.